It started out as a tattoo cover-up for a classmate that was a nurse, and she had to cover up her tattoo at work. Yeah, well, actually, you know, I have a bunch of tattoos. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if we oh, yeah. try it? Go for it, yeah. Okay. I think, this one, I think this one would be a good yeah. one. Okay, yeah. Gina Jones was training to be a nurse when she became an inventor. In 2014, she came up with the idea for a way to hide tattoos after she put a nipple cover on her husband's chest tattoo as a joke. Definitely covers the tattoo. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Do you have what it takes? We do. We're world patent marketing. And we prove it every day. Gina reached out to World Patent Marketing to help promote her idea, but instead ended up pouring money from her family's savings into what she says was an elaborate scam. Are you going to wake up, puppy? Altogether, she estimates she spent $130,000 fixing the work she paid WPM to do. I think he was the ultimate con man. I do not think that any of us saw it coming. By he... Gina means Scott Cooper, the Florida businessman who ran the company. They called me and said, you know what, you got a great idea. We feel like this is going to be the next best thing, and you should really get this patented ASAP. And it was like a one-stop shop for like $20,000. So you would pay them to take care of basically everything. everything. Yeah, you know, everything. Marketing your product, getting the patent. Prototyping, marketing, manufacturing, licensing. Gina says $20,000 got her this promo video, a logo, and not much else. She's now a plaintiff in a class action lawsuit against the company. Scott Cooper declined to comment for this story. Come April of 2015, I was questioning why they had not um, filed my patents. I was questioning why I hadn't heard anything. And Scott Cooper had emailed me and said, you need to call me. And I called him, and I got, like, his voicemail. And then I started realizing, you know what, they're probably a scam. Gina started filing complaints. That's when she said Scott Cooper became a lot more responsive. So many threatening emails, and just, like, his verbiage about how I was crazy. He said that? Yes, he did. So you have a whole WPM folder. I have two. You have two folders. That's a lot of documents. Yeah, it is. Oh, Matt Whitaker. There it is. World Patent Marketing has become a trusted partner to many inventors that believe in the American dream, said Matt Whitaker in a statement. A Justice Department spokesperson told us Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker has said he is not aware of any fraudulent activity. Any stories suggesting otherwise are false. But it's worth noting that at the same time Gina was filing complaints, Whitaker's name was attached to company marketing emails and even product reviews. It's a unique design that's going to help lots of people uh, that have mobility issues get in and use their hot tub in a safe manner. I saw his name. It was on emails like from the very beginning. Uh, So it was like even in like 2015. In emails from yeah. World Patent Marketing, from World his, Patent Mark. his name was, was in those emails. Whether Matthew Whitaker was involved in it, I don't know. In the scheme itself. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. According to documents obtained by the Wall Street Journal, Whitaker sent at least one email on behalf of the company, writing, quote, You also mentioned filing a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. I am assuming you understand that there could be serious civil and criminal consequences. The person responded, quote, your party to a scam. WPM doesn't admit liability, but in May, the FTC obtained a settlement that required it to pay back $26 million to thousands of inventors. You haven't gotten any any money back? No money from the FTC lawsuit. I don't think that there was anything that any of us could have done differently. He was a great salesman. He definitely knew how to get the money out of people. He was very convincing. 